Wait, before you ditch your pack outs, let's see if Stack Pack lives up to the hype. What's up, Jake here, and today I have some of the new Flex Stack Pack that some people are claiming is better than Pack Out. But is that really the case? In this first impressions video, I'll be analyzing the three piece set and what I think of the price point, features, and pros and cons of this new system. So make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for an upcoming comparison video to pack out and the new Rigid 2.0. I don't know about the lows near you, but the ones by me don't have any flex in stock yet. So I ordered this kit online. That's right, I bought this with my own money to provide an unbiased review and comparison. If we compare the normal price for these boxes to some other brands, we can see it's closest to pack out. But I still think it's valuable to compare the price to other brands like Rigid and DeWalt. A few of the brands are available from multiple retailers, but let's just focus on the two big box stores, Lowe's and Home Depot. Let's start with the base of most people's stacks, the rolling box. The Rigid 2.0 comes in at $89.97. Tough System is $119, Packout is $139, and Flex also comes in at $139. The next most common box is probably the medium box. The Rigid is $49.97. Tough System is a little bit more at $85. Packout is even more expensive at $89.97. And the Flex comes in at $89.98. And to round out this price comparison, let's look at the small boxes. The Rigid small box comes in at $39.97. The Tough System is $65. Packout is $79.97. And once again, the Flex is the most expensive at $79.98. Most brands sell three box sets as a package deal. Rigid currently doesn't sell a set, so the price of these three individual boxes is around 180. At this price point, I think the Rigid 2.0 boxes are a great deal and deserve the title Best Budget Toolbox System. Tough System sells a three-piece set from Home Depot for $269. Packout also has a set on Home Depot for $309, but it looks like that is currently unavailable. If you do want these three boxes, I'd recommend buying them individually. That price would actually be slightly cheaper than the set at $308.94. And Flex's three-piece set is sold at a slight discount of $299. If you bought them individually, it would be about the same price as Packout at $308.96. StackPack does currently offer a few more boxes, and I'll be comparing those to Packout in my next video. So subscribe, hit the bell icon, and leave a comment if you have any questions about these systems. If price is the deciding factor for you, then I think a different brand like Rigid could be the winner. But if you want the best of the best, does StackPack really take the crown from Packout? Flex has been marketing new features for months, but are they worth it? Let's start by looking at the connecting mechanism. My first impression of this mechanism isn't the best. To me, it seems slower than Packout, doesn't feel as secure. And even though I've seen people smash these lashes with a hammer, are they really as durable as Packout's design? I'm glad to see this system accommodates half width boxes, but to attach those, you have to raise up this middle latch. I wish they did a design like Rigid or Packout, where you don't have to think twice about attaching a half width box. Another downside of this mechanism is that it's going to be a lot more difficult for the consumer to attach anything not made by Flex. A huge benefit to Packout is how easily you can make any box Packout compatible using an aftermarket foot. With Flex's design, you'd have to use some sort of mounting plate have perfectly sized boxes, or use creative 3D printing adapters to bridge the gap from your item to the stack pack system. Not being able to mod this system with custom boxes is a big downside for me. If you're familiar with other videos on my channel, I've been making custom additions to packouts for years. If you haven't already, check out my videos on previous builds like my oversized worktop, custom drawers, and my newest packout add-on creation, the handler, that is now available on my website, whyhedesigns.com.
These accessory corners are an obvious nod to the pack up community that has been creating mods and accessories for years. Almost every other review I've seen of this system so far has had all the bells and whistles like cord wraps, a level holder, the metal rail, and more. But all of these are sold separately for about the same price as third party pack up mods. If Flex had included some of these accessories with the three piece kit at the same competitive price point, they would have an obvious advantage over pack out. The rolling box has some of its own unique features, like this metal bar on the front that's pretty sturdy and comfortable to grab. The 9 inch rubber wheels seem to be pretty high quality. And yes, it does feature a removable handle. At the bottom of the handle there's two green tabs, and when they're pushed in towards the rest of the box that means the handle is locked in place. But to remove the handle, just pull the two tabs towards you, press and hold the gray button, and you can take it all the way out. When we take a look inside the box, the first thing you may notice is the gas struts. Why do you need gas struts? Well, that's because stack pack lids have the multi layout connection point. I personally think this design is overrated because the chargers and bit cases that are mounted to the lid then would take up a lot of space in the box when closed. There's also panels on the back of the box. In my opinion, it's an overrated design because if this box is filled with tools, then the bit cases might not be easily accessible. The last thing I want to talk about with the rolling box is the included tote. Depending on how carefully you put this tote back in the box, you can miss the location so bad that it can even fall back in. And even when it's in its place, it still moves around more than the Milwaukee Packout one. The main thing I've noticed about this flex tote is that it is inferior to the Milwaukee Packout one. The handle is less comfortable, it's a little bit smaller, and it seems less sturdy. The medium box also has gas struts the same connection points on the lid, and it comes with another accessory bin. On the inside of the box, there's these two brackets that are able to accommodate other accessories, like the battery holder. And although I think the battery holder is a cool idea, it obviously takes up more space inside your box holding batteries on the side, and it only works with flex tools. Other battery platforms will need additional modifications. The medium box has four handles. One on each side, one on the front, and one on the top. Four handles might sound and look impressive, but I think there is some room for improvement with all of them. Starting with the front handle, you really have to grab it from the bottom, because if you grab from the top, you risk smashing your knuckle into this padlock area. In my opinion, the side handles aren't really necessary. Packout and Rigid don't have them. If you decided to grab it like this, walking through a standard doorway has become much harder. The top handle is pretty hard to open. Maybe that's just on mine, but maybe it's just the design. Another thing I don't like about it that much, that the area for you to grab is not as wide as pack outs. Another thing about this handle and this box is that if you try and grab it from the top and don't have it latched, the box can open. If we do a quick comparison with the pack out medium box, we can see that this handle engages these extra latches. So without latching the actual box, when you engage the handle, you don't have to worry. The Milwaukee box is just over 22 inches from side to side, but if the handles are out on the flex, it's around 28 inches. 
Something I haven't talked about yet is the dedicated spot on all of these boxes for a label. You can simply just pop it open with a flathead, take out the piece of paper, and customize it however you want. The small box doesn't have any gas struts or connection points on the lid. Included in the top box is four accessory bins. Two clear ones, and these two open ones. The clear ones have three removable dividers and latch pretty well. Dividers aren't included with the bottom bins, but you could easily take some from the top bins or make your own. A cool feature about these bottom bins is the compatibility with the rack rail. I don't have that with me here, but if I did, you could then take the bins and with this lip on the back, it can slide onto the side of the rail on either the side of the box or the front of a lower box. The last feature I want to mention is these ribs. Maybe Flex will come out with dividers, but you could always make your own with some quarter inch plywood. Going back to my original question, is Flex better than Packout? Well, I'm not ready to make that conclusion just yet because I'm working on a more detailed comparison highlighting three of the four systems I mentioned today, Flex, Rigid, and Milwaukee. In that video, I'll be giving each system a Jake score. It's my own unique grading system that will rank each item on their quality, features, pricing, and more. Even though I was pretty critical in this first impressions video, I think it's a good thing Stackpack is here. At the very least, I hope it pushes the industry to make better boxes, new products, and keep their pricing competitive. If you want to see more content on tools and toolboxes, hit like, subscribe, and comment any ideas for a future video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.